you guys, Crystal from survivingateachersalary.com here. And one of my favorite ways to help children learn new lessons is by doing things interactively and hands-on. So we are learning our, um, our math skills with telling time and reading clocks, digital and analog. And so I found this great set that Oriental Trading sent me. Uh, it comes with, it's a telling time set. It comes with this grandfather clock laminated flash card that you can see here is blank. It also comes with a set of magnetic numbers as well as both digital and analog cl uh, clock readings and they are double sided. So what I did when I knew I was going to receive this seat is I head over to my local dollar store and I picked up um, a $1 baking sheet and a $1 pizza pie pan. These are going to come in handy so that we can use these for different centers. Now, for the baking sheet, I'm actually just using this because it does not fit on my pizza pie pan. And it does not stick to it because this is just a poster. So uh, these numbers, when the students start writing the times on here, will make it stick. If you want, before the students come to the center, you can take the magnets and write the time down here. Let's see here. Let's say 540. And then the students will need to use a dry erase marker to draw on here. Or, or you can do it the opposite way. You can take a clock front here and lay it over the top where the clock face is. And then the students will need to pick up the magnetic numbers and write the numbers down here to see what the time is. So you can do it one of several ways. Now, this pizza pie pan, I like this because it's your typical round uh, shape. So you can take the 930 here and just have a round piece of paper and have the children draw on it what 930 might look like. Or you can flip it over and put this 930 here and then have the students take their magnetic numbers and try to guess or read, hopefully not guess, read the clock here and put their numbers on. And then they can check their work by flipping it over and reading the 930. So they can use these rectangle cards or the circle cards. This one has the time both on the front and the back. Um, also to go along with this is this is a little cheat sheet card and this just shows you uh, how they recommend using this set and they had showed using these clock faces and laying them on the baking sheet. But obviously if you have more than one or two kids in your class or in your group you're going to need several different stations and there is just one clock session here. So what you can do is um, you can buy, you know, multiple dollar baking pans. These are great for a lot of things. These also work as really cheap no mess trays. Um, I've seen really fantastic, fabulous, uh, really colorful plastic mess trays or not mess, no mess trays that last a long time. But the trays are like five bucks a piece. And you know, when you've got 20 kids in your class, you can't spend $100 if you don't have a budget for that. So these for a buck, these will last your whole class. They're metal. Um, you know, after a while they will rust because they are cheap. So you can either just scrub that out with a Brillo pad or you can simply go pick up another $1.10. Uh, and you can either assign these to each student at the beginning of the school year, or you can just have them in a stack and have kids grab them as needed. So, clocks here, use dry erase markers, they can either add the faces on, they can add this face on, as long as you know they're not going to cheat on the back, uh, or the magnetic you can write, or you can use these. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. You can even purchase several of these tins and then just set this station up similarly. You can see here that I have quite a few flashcards, this isn't even all of them. There are tons and tons, so these will last you for the whole year. Um, and then you can sort them, you know, if, if you think something is easier or harder, you can take the time to go through and sort them. In addition to all those circle ones, we've got tons of, uh, of all these rectangle cards here. 
So you can see this is a pretty thick stack of all individual cards. Uh, let's see, on the back of this one, it also will give you some more ideas on how to change up your math centers. And this one talks about having your clocks, your clock faces, say pick three or four clock faces out and lay them out on your center table, and then have the corresponding times in the rectangle ones. And then what the students would need to do would be either to have this already laid on there and say, it's actually upside down, uh, to say 505. And then the students would need to pick the corresponding clock face that matches. Or if you're working on the clock faces, you can flip on the opposite, have this clock face up, and then the students will need to pick through all of the times in the square cards and then place it down here. So that's technically how they say to use this set but I think that there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Teachers are very creative. Um, obviously, you know, there are tons, there's more than enough cards to make groups for your entire class. So you can have students work individually during quiet time or together as a group. So this is, again, this is a, um, a magnetic time telling set on Oriental Trading. It was not pricey at all. It was very reasonable. Um, and really it's just these magnets that are that are the these numbers that are the magnetic stuff so you could technically just get magnetic numbers somewhere and then design your own clock faces but for I don't remember I think it's 10 or 12 bucks it was so much easier to have all of these pre-made pre-designed already cut out laminated these are really nice dirty um, heavy pieces of cardboard that are laminated and uh, for the price, it was absolutely worth just getting this whole set and then just picking up a few extra magnetic baking pens. So there is a really easy um, math manipulative for you guys that's super affordable and that you can use in a lot of different ways. Um, the other thing that I thought I might do is just to, to um, on a piece of paper, cut out uh, red construction paper, my own clock hands, and then have the students actually turn this pizza pan into a clock. So have them manipulate the numbers. Let's see if I can find my three. Have them manipulate the numbers so that this mimics an actual clock. So they'll need to know the placement of the numbers and to spread them out. And uh, I'm not going to finish the entire clock here, but so have them have them do this. Take your red magnetic or your red clock hands, which you can use either tape down, sticky sticky tape down, or you can just put on magnetic paper yourself. It only takes a few seconds. It's really not complicated. And then uh, you can have them manipulate the hands to read whatever these clock cards match. Now I will say with this clock set, uh, you'll notice at the bottom it does have the clock hands, but they are pretty small because they're meant for the clock faces that are included in the kit and there's only one set so it's really not meant for multiple usage so let's see here so these little clock hands are fantastic for this but there's just one set so if you happen to need more sets whoops if you need more sets, you can actually use these as a template to draw more, or you can design your own that are bigger here. So um, that's our simple math telling time set that we have. So I just wanted to feature that for you guys as another resource for your classroom, your homeschool, at school with your kids. Um, this makes it a little bit more fun than just staring at worksheets and trying to remember the times. This will allow the kids to actually manipulate the numbers, to feel them, to tactile. Uh, touch there and really learn some more. So thank you guys. Have an awesome day.